I realized, okay, after Deb died and in that grieving period coming up to the back end of last year, there was a moment where I sat there and I was like, I don't feel like someone recovering from cancer. I feel like me. Mm. And that was the moment I was like, okay, this is a new chapter and I need to step into that. And, you know, a little bit of it is the physical. So like my Demi Moore crop that I've had, I had it before I got sick. Then I grew my hair out. Then found out I had cancer. I had to chop it all off again. It was very inconvenient. Mm -hmm. And then I had it. It's kind of been my trademark. But I just kind of, you know, I'm trying to live a bit of a softer life now and an easier, gentler, more balanced life. And I think I want a softer, more gentler haircut. And yeah, like I just want to be able to look in the mirror and when I see photos, when I look back in another 10 years time, I'll be able to see, oh, that was that part of my life. Mm. Does that make sense? Completely. And actually, it's weird you say that because I've always kept my hair colour the same mm. and I wanted to change it for that reason mm. so that I can look back and I, and it sounds so weird, mm. but so I can look back and think, oh, I know that that hair colour change came with wanting to make really good decisions for me yeah and so yeah it was like a it's a bookmark a visual yeah, bookmark. yeah it is and just like a moving on and to try something different and like it's almost like a shedding of skin like mm. you know what I mean so you know if I don't like it I'd cut it back off to my little little Demi Moore or could be more Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber depending on what day you find me <laughs> no that doesn't depend on what day I find that depends on who you go and get it done with yes, so fair. Fair. We need to make sure that you have a great stylist who does take you more down the sort of demi yes. route. Yes. Than the because I does that mean that your Instagram bio is going to change and it's not going to be oh, hair like thought, demi? I've thought about this a lot, babe. Dyer. I've thought about this a lot. I'm going to have to change it. I'm a bit gutted. I'll I'll find a way. You know, you know I've got away with words. I'll find a way. You'll find a way. You'll find a new a new Yeah, a new person to reference. <laughs> Or just something completely new entirely. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <gasps> Imagine that. Brand new start. So is it... So just go, leaning into that a little bit, you also talked about your arm and shape nails. Yes. So is this not just about the hair? Is this about being something that you couldn't be five years ago or is this I don't know the armor shape nails to be honest I have to give credit to Lucy at Chatsworth Road Nails <laughs> the Nail Room Z5 <laughs> she's amazing so she'd be doing my nails forever and I always have them squared off because I just assumed that they were weak and she said no I think we should keep them almond because they keep chipping at the sides and I, this is like my second manicure and you can see the length of them mm. with and that's my natural nails so I was like well this looks good and feels nice and I like to scratch myself with them <laughs> so I just thought it's a change I, the nails thing was like it's just a weird thing I've never to me armor shaped nails have always seemed very feminine mm. and I don't see myself as like a girly girl but actually I do feel like a sexy woman so that I'm loving the armor shaped nails 